Anand, just take us through what is it that Gulam Nabi Azad is uh, accusing Rahul Gandhi of? Well, it's a five-page letter that it's addressed to, that is addressed to Sonia Gandhi. He also talks about in the beginning about his own contribution to the Congress party and how he joined the Congress party at a time where it was t considered to be taboo or quite uh, because the Congress party was quite checkered with its history in Jammu and Kashmir itself, especially around the developments with, uh, with Sheikh Abdullah and thereof. But going forward, as he enters page two, he comes to the, the time of UPA one and two. And one of the aspects that he's highlighted is that one of the major reasons for the success as president, you held the wise counsel of senior leaders besides trusting their judgment and delegating powers to them. Then he says, however, unfortunately, after the entry of Sri Rahul Gandhi into politics and particularly after January 2013, when he was appointed vice president by you, the entire consultative mechanism which existed earlier was demolished by him. So this aspect of demolishing the consultative mechanism is something which he has underlined. And then he says, all senior experienced leaders were sidelined by a new coterie of inexperienced psychophants starting and started running the affairs of the party. So he says, one of the most glaring examples of this immaturity was tearing up of a government ordinance in the full glare of media by Sri Rahul Gandhi. The said ordinance was incubated in the Congress core group and subsequently unanimously approved by the union cabinet presided over by the Prime Minister of India and duly approved even by the President of India. This childish, he has called this childish, childish behaviour completely subverted the authority of the Prime Minister and the Government of India. This one single action more than anything else contributed significantly to the defeat of the UPA government in 2014. That was at the receiving end of a campaign of calumny and insinuation from a combination of forces of the right wing and certain unscrupulous corporate interests. So this is where he has come out and gone ahead and laid into Rahul Gandhi itself and the transition on the nature of the Congress party itself. So this is, this is the, uh, the page where and then... It goes on further, as we go further to page number three, he say, you may recall that after you took over as Congress president, after dethroning Sitaram Kesari, Congress leadership met for a brainstorming in Panchmari, October 1998. Subsequently, there was another such session in Shimla in 2003 and then again in 2013. I had the privilege of chairing the working group of organization affairs on all these three occasions. However, regrettably, none of the recommendations of these three traits were ever properly implemented. And he says, in fact, in January 2013, January 2013 at Jaipur, I had proposed the assistance of other members of committee, a detailed action plan to revitalize the party in the run-up to 2014 Lok Sabha elections. That action plan duly approved by the CWC. These recommendations were supposed to be implemented in a time-bound manner before 2014 Lok Sabha elections. Unfortunately, these recommendations are lying in the storeroom of the AICC for the last nine years. So he says, where are the recommendations that were given? And in spite of repeated reminders in person to both to you and the then Vice President Rahul Gandhi from 2013 onwards to implement these recommendations, no effort has been made to examine them seriously, is what he says. Under your stewardship since 2014, subsequently that of Rahul Gandhi, INC has lost two Lok Sabha elections in a humiliating manner. It has lost 39 out of 49 assembly elections held between 2014 and 2022. Party only won four state elections and was able to get into a coalition situation in six instances. Unfortunately, today, INC is ruling in only two states and is a very marginal coalition partner in two other states. So once again, talking about the lack of of depth of leadership, consultation, and then he's also come out and said, after Rahul Gandhi stepped down in a huff and not before insulting all senior party functionaries who have given their lives to the party in a meeting of the extended working committee, you took over as interim president, a position that you continue to hold even today after three years. So again, this interim president aspect, he has said, and then he said three years, teen saal ko interim president. So that's the point. Worse still, the remote control model that demolished the institutional integrity of the UPA government now got applied to the Indian National Congress. While you are just a nominal figurehead, all important decisions were being taken by Rahul Gandhi or rather worse, his security, uh, security guards and PAs. This, this is huge. 
forget the childish and all that there jibes he is saying congress is running on a remote control model this is what he says remote control model now apply to inc and important decisions being taken by rahul gandhi or rather was security guards and pas that's what he has come out and said so very very clearly and then goes into page number 4 where he says when i and 22 other senior colleagues including this is the g23 part former union ministers and chief ministers wrote to you the to flag the abysmal drift in the party the coterie chose to unleash its psychophants on us and got us attacked vilified and humiliated in the most crude manner possible so once again he is talked about coterie unleash psychophants got us attacked vilified and humiliated in the most crude manner possible in fact on the directions of the kotari that runs the aicc today my mock funeral procession was taken out in jammu those who committed this indiscipline were feted in delhi by general secretaries of aicc and rahul gandhi personally now he's saying look at the insult heaped on senior leaders subsequently same kotari again he uses the word kotari unleashed its gundas to physically attack the residence of a former ministerial colleague Shri Kapil Sibal, who incidentally was defending you and your kin in the courts of law for your alleged attacks of omission and commission, so those who are fighting for you in the courts were also attacked. <clears throat> Only crime committed by the 23 senior leaders who wrote that letter out of concern for the party is that they pointed out both the reasons for the weakness in the party and the remedies thereof. Unfortunately, instead of taking those views on board in a constructive and cooperative manner, we were abused. humiliated insulted and vilified in a specially summoned meeting of the extended cwc meeting so clearly the senior leader 73 year old has come out and said that the situation in the congress party has reached a point of no return that now proxies are being propped up to take over the leadership of the party so he has really really laid into rahul gandhi and that entire coterie calling them security guards and pas who are actually calling the shots and that this party is running out as a remote control and they are saying has point of no return because proxies are being propped up to take over leadership of the party and there is so much more that he has now put out there in that five page letter arunima anand thank you so much for getting us the details of what gulam nabi azad has said in that resignation letter addressed uh, to sonia gandhi talking about rahul gandhi being one of the reasons why the senior leaders of the party are feeling suffocated pallavi ghosh